Hello everybody, it's a Prof Chop, and we're back again with a new video. This is Hollow Yen answers what they did before Hollow Life, okay? What is the person behind the image? Let's see. Everybody Mumei! Everybody adorable everybody ass owl. Oh, oh owls are adorable. Hey, been there, done that. But who knows what happened? Yeah. Like, I was supposed to be part-time, because I was That's how still it works. Young, and I was supposed yep. to get the day shifts. I ended up getting the night shifts, and I ended up, mm -hmm. like, being scheduled in as if I was full-time. Listen, bro, this is what they don't explain to you when you go into waitress work, or uh, whatever they call them, bussers, or whatever. Th they prey on young people, because they know the young people are dumb as hell, and they're very uh, meek. So, first job, you're gonna do what you're told. So you go there like four hours, three times a day. No, no. Six days a week, eight, nine, ten, twelve hours. Been there, done that. Fucking hate those motherfuckers. Oh, well, Absolute you know, bullshit. You'd have to uh, switch shifts. Like, you'd have to reach out and, and switch shifts. And I was like, I said I could do this like three times a week. Yeah. I'm, I went six times yeah. this week. Yeah. That is how it works straight, straight off. <laughs> I would get home like one or two a like, day. My first, my second job, I was supposed to work. Five days a week, 12 hours. I ended up working seven days a week, 12 hours for like a month and a half. Yeah. Um, a bit of a change like, in scheduling. I was like, what do you want hey, from that. me, Mother Owl? <laughs> 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 he wanted me to get a job. Yeah, wrong job. <laughs> I'm not having a job, Mother Owl. I'm sorry. She's like, tell them to schedule you earlier. Look, I can't. I didn't do that for too long. <laughs> yeah. Smart. Uh, past workplaces. Yeah, I brought this up because we okay. found out that we have uh, a, similarities. Oh, a matching oh? similarities. What else matches? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, where that have is. we both worked before? Hotels. Hotels, uh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what part of the hotel did you work at? I, I was front desk, so Oof. I was receptionist. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So I took yeah, I mean, calls. me too, mainly, but more like everything. I was yeah. trained for everything. Straight up how it uh, works, like brother. For three years, I did like a apprenticeship. <laughs> like Germany and Austria have this like apprenticeship system where you go mm. to... Wow, that sounds like, awful. Slave labor, basically. Whatever job you're choosing for yeah. two months in a year, and then the rest is uh, the, the workplace. But you get paid shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of people... This is what they did back in Bulgaria. You can get apprenticeships to people. But they don't, like, at least they get paid. Here you don't get paid. You work because you're an apprentice and you're supposed to, after some time, learn the craft, right? But so they don't instead pay. Of high school, um, I mean, now they start paying them because the so government forced it. But it used to I, be no pay. Uh, Slay up, slave worked, labor. Uh, uh, Crazy. In a hotel after that. Before I joined Holo. <gasps> Me too. I, I didn't know that you worked at a hotel before. So yeah. well, a lot of people like, did oh. when they were young. <laughs> I yeah. Honestly, I think I really liked it. I mean, there were, of course, like some days that, mm. you know, where the guests really piss you off when they have, like, especially in like expensive hotels and you get like mm -hmm. guests who have really high standards. Oh, God. And can't say the C they word. They're something better you than know? you. And also, when they come from different cultures, they just by standard think they're better than Bro, you. Bro, and the, the, the crazy thing is the most. The ones that pay the most, they're the dirtiest motherfuckers. So straight up. Yeah. Hey, I've been there. Uh, so, I've cleaned know, rooms before. Uh, I've worked yeah. a lot of different yeah. jobs. God though. damn. I still liked it. I love my colleagues too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hate it. Amazing. I hate everybody. Oh, you didn't like your colleagues. When I worked that job. Well, I, I actually loved my colleagues, but my uh -huh. situation was a bit different. So I actually, mm. my hotel sucked. And I Oof. would be the only person there ever. Mm. Like when Smaller I, type mm -hmm. hotel. And so mm. no, no, no cleaners. Oh no God, you do everything me. then. So I oh was doing all the God. stuff as well as like Bro. the room had to be cleaned. I had to go do it. For small hotels, check in, check out. That you mm -hmm. get yourself in such a position, but underpaid too. So yes. I, I, I left. Mm. But I, I would really like to someday in like the far, far future after, after you know everything. I think it'd be fun to work in like a really high end hotel in like a really oh. nice city. No, no, probably wouldn't be. You know, yeah. it probably like, would not yeah. be. Think about it. It just, it just be so fun. Would yeah. it? Would yeah. it? I mean, would it? I don't. I. Yeah. For me, it's like hard to imagine to ever go back to a normal <laughs> job again <laughs> after Fair three enough. years of doing this. Mm -hmm. Damn, Kiara's a hag you know, now at this because point. Because of my hotel experience Sheesh. and me just being mm. able to work in like touristic uh, jobs because touristic? of my, the training that I did and uh, the languages that I speak. I I don't know if you know this, but I once signed up for Lufthansa. Oh god! I went to Lufthansa auditions. The, As the, uh, the yeah, the airlines. Oh, they I, have, I made it in. I think I, they have very bad reviews. They're always late, but they're German, so I don't. 
Breaking stereotypes there. I was about there. to become a, a cabin attendant. I was about cabin to start attendant. my training. I even cancelled my apartment and everything and, and oh uh, found an apartment in Munich because uh, mm. that was going to be my base. Uh, From mountain happen, German to normal German. I said something in my in my health exam that... Hey, yo, over. what'd you oh, say? No, it was all cancelled. What'd you say? I will forever cherish that one memory picture that I have because I went to an open audition, which was like, they had this venue where you know they did a whole day of auditions uh -huh. and i passed and then at the end i would take pictures with like a picture with a picture? Uh, the lufthansa cabin attendants next to me <laughs> and i forever cherish that picture yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's i was so almost cute. almost in lufthansa mm. uh -huh. that's what you get for being too honest i'm not sure why she's saying that like it's a like a great thing but okay it's yeah okay yeah listen if we can learn one lesson from watching my videos on future work conditions lie your ass off they won't know they don't want the truth okay they can't handle the truth lie you're 13 you've worked 12 years of your life you're 18 you've worked 17 years of your life yeah, that's lie how it works next time. <laughs> straight yeah, up don't be too honest guys no don't okay, be honest it's, at all it's, it's good it's, to be honest um, the health is definitely very important to be honest about in Probably, like, when, yeah. when it With comes airplanes to, you know, stuff like that. flying jobs. True. But for me, it was something that didn't matter, but I still was too honest about it. And they yeah. kind of misunderstood it. And mm. yeah, that's why they canceled me. Can't Germans misunderstand can. something. Oh boy. <laughs> canceled me! Hey, uh. cancel culture! Hey, yo. <laughs> if, I ha if I have to like, uh, oh, take I'm some gonna... time off or something, I'll let you guys know, okay? Like, uh, you know, you can't just... I would do. take off time from work, right? And then, like, uh, you know, not tell your boss. What is like, going on? Right? I did that once, though. Hey, I was yo. working at a, it was like a holiday store. It was like Bro, her is dope as hell. Uh, one of the employees, they went into the, the, the locker I had all my stuff in, and I had iPod Nano. They joined your they stuff? stole it from me. Bro. I, I told the boss, boss lady, I was like, boss, someone stole from me. Like, what are you going to do about it? And she's like, I can't do anything about it. You got to report it to the police. And then I was like, what? That's crazy. Yeah, this is when and you then, stab then, somebody. And then, um, in game. I just didn't feel like going into work because I didn't like working there. And then yeah, I, fuck that. I didn't call in or anything. I just stopped going. Hey, right, some players deserve uh, it. The Straight up. She called me and she's like, You can't do that. You can't just not go into Well, technically, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You're not supposed to do that, but if you're pieces of shit, why must I be nice to you? A lot of people don't get this. Listen, you treat people how you want to be treated. To work, you have to call. And I'm like, I got oh. yoinks at work. It was like my first you didn't do job. Shit about and it. I was just like, oh, this job. Well, also at that job, because they were like, uh, we need you to, you know, we need you to smile more. <laughs> why should I smile? What's there to smile about? The Christmas spirit. I don't know. I can't really like force myself to smile. It's. You hit a lot when you work to retail. Working well, retail sucks. I asked yes. them, I said, can, can I just be in the back, like, doing stock or something? Because you'd have to go down the aisles, like, a little checkboard and, like, check if there was any stuff that you needed to restock, right? I was like, can I just do restocking? And they're like, um, no, we want you on the cat on the cash. So, okay, from personal experience, I can tell you exactly why they wanted this. So, usually these, uh, no, no end job, like, shitty jobs, they hire a lot of people, right? They don't require a lot of things, but usually they put the the goblins at the back and they usually put the more uh, presentable people at the front like and uh, it sounds awful but if you've worked these jobs you know exactly what i'm talking about like straight up if you worked any of these jobs you know you know that when you go to the back it's all goblins brother on the front it looks kind of presentable oh, the back goblins Trench like the goblin the army bomb. I'm not like, joking. Imagine myself I'm with a not. cash register. My hands are like all sweaty and shaking. And I'm like, here's your change. And then I drop it and it falls all over the floor. And then Good, they deserve that. would say the wrong thing. Atomic Panda saw it. Got a job. Listen, that's at the start. At some point, you just, after working with enough people, you just go like, hey, you know what? Fuck everybody. And you become that one person at work that never smiles, looks at them all dirty like they're trash. But you do your job. Today, so you get paid. Happy about exactly that. the same as hey, you get congrats. paid before. So I hope the new job goes What's up, crony? Well. I hope your coworkers are better to work with than the last one. I know how it feels to work with huh? people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why did she look evil when she did that, bro? Look at that face. To work with. That is an evil face, goddamn crony. People. <laughs> <laughs> I had some experience God. working at <sighs> some jobs. 
it, it's quite a pain. So true. Yeah. People suck sometimes. No, it's just that. Okay, I'll I'll be. I guess Yaps I, about I her be previous job. The job that I was working at uh -huh. was customer service. Oh god, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. I at that. I think you can kind of finish the yep. thought. <laughs> Good. Do you have any other like, oh, funny stories from when you had the quote unquote maid job? Uh, one time. Wait, girl was a maid? Shark maid? One time I was house house sitting, I guess you would say. Mm. It was for like a family of, I don't know, they had kids. I know they had kids. And I got a phone call at like early, early morning. I was like, hello. And. <laughs> These people what happened? said, Hammer come head. unclog my toilet. I said, what you the have a, there's a, fuck? there, there's a, there are, there's a device to do that. And I yeah. told them where the plunger, what's called the plunger, I told them where it was. And they said, no, 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 you need to come do this. I excuse me? Sir, it is. Ew, you disgusting, dirty piece of shit. Eight in the morning. <laughs> I didn't say this part, but I was thinking to myself, you are more than capable of doing this yourself, yeah, it does. sir. Excuse me. The audacity. The audacity. Can, could you do that to somebody? I mean, Probably, maybe I would, when okay. you're like... A First of most, I think most people in that situation would be too embarrassed to call some some little cute-ass wife girl to unclog the shitter. Like, what the fuck is wrong a with baby? you? baby? Can babies even... Clog Damn. a toilet? Okay. I don't think children can clog Unless toilets. you throw the baby in the I toilet. Mean, hey, boomy again. Chill. I'd always start. I don't know how. So a delivery driver so? work nowadays, but I'd always start in the nicer neighborhoods. So it would ensure you'd get a pretty good tip. I don't mm. know how I was making bank. <laughs> Except I know I lost money. At least the first month I did it, I lost money. How do you lose money while working? This was this was back in the day. Oh back shit! In the day, Wait. Mue hag? Orders were not done Everybody directly through whatever app you're using. The delivery driver would have to call in the order for you. So, and then you'd have to use a credit card that was given to you by delivery company. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I remember what? there were a few days where the company credit card wasn't working. Oh my god, you used your own? Why would you? Own debit card to pay okay, that sounds like a scheme job. What do you mean you have to use your own debit card? Pay for these people's food. And That's I was crazy. Be reimbursed, they didn't. And they're like, oh, just provide the receipts and send them to this email and we'll pay you back. I don't think I was ever paid back. Jesus. And it was like $300. Damn. <laughs> You're super cool. Thank you for giving me food. Yo, outfit? Yeah, your boy was a waitress a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I saw the clip of that. Uh, oh. I cannot name the establishment, but you said that they were not very nice. Mm. They customers. were not. I mean, yeah. you know, the staff, they did their best to be kind. It was just the customers. It was a rough time, but I made it. It built character. It, yeah, enjoy them? it definitely builds character. You, Your patient levels need to go up high. And your I don't give a fuck about anything at the current moment needs to go up high as well. Um, no, it, not quite it, as much as I, I wish that I could have. Yeah, now you can't. My manager you, did fist fight with the person what? who threw tequila in my face. Oh, why would somebody oh, tell you? Hey, oh, fuck, I'll call in your face. I would stink. I was essentially sort of customer service. Oh, except God. I had to physically okay. go to... Yeah, I think everybody whole life was customer service at some point. I mean, it makes sense, kind of, right? and yell over them and i'll be like managing like groups of five or twelve and telling them that shut the f out <laughs> shut up <laughs> you listen here shut your mouth boy <laughs> god damn this guy he was just waiting for his place to be cleaned up and stuff right we told him the waiting time you know this is this is the waiting time mister you just gotta wait a little while more and then he there was only like five minutes like we're finally cleaning it now you're your place is gonna be ready soon. And then for some reason, he couldn't wait anymore. He only had five there. more minutes. And then he was about to leave. And then he was giving me like the the vibes, you know? Like the, the vibes? People, I'm about to smash your, your face. Yo. Vibes. I'm like, but, oh, but <gasps> mister. And then I, I took it very calmly, but I had the adrenaline rush right after. So I just cried. It's like, okay, I'm oh. gonna go cry in the bathroom yes. now. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't think I've ever cried in the bathroom, but I, listen, I, I went through the I don't give a fuck about anything phase real world with my uh my uh yeah job, so I don't know. Holy shit! Well, we learned a lot more about Holo and uh, Holo peoples. Mume was interesting. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about uh, those jobs experience. Have you had similar job experiences? 
throw them in the comments and I'll see you all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be streaming some Ultra Kill later on today. Come join. Say hi.